So I was just doing um big business things. See, like biz, like business in what way? <laughs> like business or like business? I mean, you know, there's <laughs> there's at least three types of business that I can think of. Exactly. So which business are you talking um, about? Um. And if it's big, yes. I could be your little pet. <laughs> what, <laughs> David? There's children watching. Also, what the heck did they do to the lobby? Like a sexual goose. <laughs> Wait, like, <laughs> funny to me. Wait, like, one word asexual goose or like a space sexual goose? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, one word asexual. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been listening to um Roman Atwood's podcast. I don't really listen to podcasts, I usually just like watch the clips, but his doesn't oh. have clips. And also, I don't know, I just kind of like Roman Atwood. Ah, huh, you're a <laughs> um, you're like a maid pigeon. <laughs> what? He made goose, goose. Oh, the difference. The oh, difference. you know, I'm an asexual giraffe. <laughs> hey, yo, guys, welcome back. Uh, uh, go, <gasps> Giga Jack. In the last video, I cut out so much. We talked about a lot of serious things last video, and I don't know. That's just not really like my video style, especially not for um high pixel videos. I mean, like maybe once in a while, but I don't know. We talked about lots of serious things like um, mm -hmm. gun control, about how having a good memory is a curse and a blessing, and like how my ex made my life miserable and stuff like that. Also, in the last video, I just cut out like a bunch of small stories because okay, they were small stories, but I just went into like way too much detail. Okay, so this is what you missed. I had a very pretty lady deliver me my food. Being inspired is not the same is stealing i get inspired a lot but i always try making it my own in some sort of way so it's not stealing and yeah that's about it also what i've started realizing is like i don't need to go through every single one of my video notes because some of them are just kind of stupid like i was talking about liver king in this about how like the way he lives is like different than us like yeah obviously we don't need to talk about that <laughs> david good news johnny depp has officially won you realize like how many people are simping over him now because of like his case it's so dumb yeah like, ben oh Oh, he's, he's gone. What did you do to Ben? I slash deleted him. Asexual goose has scared away Ben. <laughs> ben confirmed homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> David, I accidentally deleted 100 video ideas. I don't even know how it happened, but yeah. Okay, good news is I have remembered like most of the stuff, so I guess that that's good. Hey, David, so much happened on your birthday. First thing is, I gave you a birthday present. Thank you for coming out. As, I was about to say, why is there a pride flag in them? Oh, yeah, I saw that like last week. It's not a woman. Industry. Did you say industry? <laughs> I don't, don't want to talk about it. You know, I was hoping... <laughs> I was hoping that you just did notice. No, not this one. Not this one. Wait. Does they have nothing? And you know how you also watch Urban Rescue Ranch? Yeah. Okay, well, um, I have a present for you. <laughs> oh, finally! Oh, Jesus! There we go. Okay, hey, Kevin! You know, Kevin's nice. He's, he's, he's there. Somewhere. <laughs> Is he, like, living? Hopefully. <laughs> So, you know how about, like, a year ago, I accidentally added, um, Dane Jasper on Twitter? Well, on your birthday, um, <laughs> I did happy birthday at Dane Blazer, but I forgot, like, um, the, uh, capital letters or underscore, I don't yeah. know, like, whatever else you have. So, I accidentally added the OG Dane Blazer, and then he said happy birthday to you. I don't know about you, but that was the highlight of your birthday. But actually, funniest part uh -huh. is, like, that's not our first time talking to him before. There's too many Danes in this world. You know, I think that we gotta start like killing some of them you know david i think that like we need a good amount of like business and pleasure why not just pleasure no i mean we can start selling like crack or something or we could just kill someone and sell their organs you know that's also a very good idea for me personally your birthday was actually like a pretty good day for me okay so um i went to the doctors and uh they told me some kind of decent news what the heck was that um about my leg which i'll talk about that later hey david so uh, do you like how i made your birthday about me so david um yeah. do you have any topics for this video have you ever been scammed irl what do you mean by like real life like a computer scam or like somebody was like no hey you buy this one dollar water bottle for ten dollars you know well somebody comes to your door and scams you no why have you ever been scammed yes uh i i don't know i i never told you i think weirdly enough was it recently so no it's it oh, okay. like uh two three months ago <laughs> that's still kind of recently <laughs> see but it wasn't like recent recent okay you know okay I mean? go like, on there's it's like soon and sooner you know what i mean okay <laughs> yeah it's like 3 p.m 
and this guy comes to our door. So he was talking about like, hey, we have to make sure that um, your electric bill is fine or something. I'm like, what? Okay. And he's like, okay, you just have to sign some stuff here just to agree to like the terms and conditions. I'm like, yeah, sure. Just so we don't have to come back. That's what he said. And I'm like, okay, I'll, sure, I'll sign it. I don't remember the company, what it was called. It's probably Cricket Mobile. <laughs> <laughs> cricket mobile <laughs> i was like okay to make sure i'm gonna i'm gonna check on reddit and yeah it turns out they're like very scammy people oh and that they changed my provider my electric provider to i don't know it was common to I cricket mobile like. yeah. <laughs> yeah to cricket mobile right and then uh it was so annoying we had to call the company saying hey you know we didn't want this change this guy lied to us blah 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 and she's and like the girl was like very nice hot up. Oh. it was so annoying, if i'm being 100 like honest hours. i didn't think that you were gonna have any topics i'm actually proud of you and he oh i remember this thing which made me super sus he was like you know that's a nice shirt you have i'm like what <laughs> i i'm not drippy at all <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> hello what, what, what was that <laughs> oh, i forgot <laughs> Oh. No, Renzo, Renzo, there's an aqua! See, I, I like didn't know that her bed was already gone. <laughs> what do you mean? There's always a bed thing saying, hey, your bed's been broken. Me and Gray just learned that the bed was gone at the same time. <laughs> like I said earlier, I went to the doctor and the update on my leg is I'm basically fine. I did have some like muscle loss in my leg because obviously like if you're not using those muscles, then like, you know, they won't be like big and strong. But yeah, so um, I just need to be doing some exercises. But okay, recently, um, actually on Tuesday, uh, today's Thursday, a bunch of the progress that I made um, for like my leg to get better we're just gone i'm gonna talk about it like later more me and laza went to this um car show recently for like an hour or two i was pointing out this one car to him like four or five times and then eventually i just kind of stopped and then like 20 minutes later he pointed it out and i'm like yeah i've i've already seen that car <laughs> Recently, one of my friends got into a relationship, and, um, I don't know, like, he posted some story with her, and then, um, tagged her, so I just kind of added her, and I'm like, hey, um, I'm happy for you, and, um, I don't know, we'll just call him Mike. Me and her kind of started talking, like, back and forth, and then I started realizing, like, okay, how, like, close should you be with your friend's girlfriend? For me, personally, if I were dating somebody, I would want, like, you and my girlfriend to be, like, on, like, a friend level, where it's, like, I don't know, maybe you you guys talk like once in a while but i don't think that you guys should be like texting every single day like calling like just hanging out like no, um, when it's just no, you two no. like that would just be kind of weird maybe you could hang out together but not well frequently. yeah yeah not like a lot it's kind of weird because you want to be you want them to be close friends yeah but not like too close you know <laughs> yeah not too close but you want as we all know you aren't the best at saying lines in a script but what i've realized is you actually are good at saying them just not in your own voice. In Tomo's voice, Matt's voice, Planky Blazer's voice, you were completely fine at saying lie. And then I started realizing every time I kind of start stuttering, if I just do Angelo's voice, then everything comes out smooth. You and me cannot talk in our normal voices. <laughs> Is this Kanye West? Dave Chappelle speaks facts, man. He was talking about how when the baby killed somebody, people, they didn't really care that much. But as soon as he said one bad thing about gay people, all of a sudden, now people are trying to cancel him. Only thing I'm going to say is, come on, pick your battles, people. And now it is time for a brand new segment called Gen Z being dumb. <laughs> I had this one friend and um, she said yes to go on a date with this guy, but uh, she didn't actually really want to go, which, okay. First of all, you can always say no. If you don't want to go on a date with somebody, just tell them no. Because, honestly, lying to them and just going on the date is just going to hurt them way more. Anyways, she had the bright idea to show up looking homeless. So then maybe um, he wouldn't want to, like, be with her anymore. And I'm like... Wait, did she actually go through with that? Um, I don't know. She didn't really tell me anything about that. But, okay, no. Funniest part is, she literally said in her text, You know what? That is an amazing idea. And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> that is the stupidest idea that I have ever heard. So many people have been posting on their Instagram stories 
saying, why is our government protecting our kids from queers and not AK-47s? Like, what the heck? Okay, so the reason why they've um, been posting that is because apparently the government has been trying to ban um, drag shows. I do not know why they are doing that, but one reason I can think is because some of those shows, not all of them, have been kind of sexualizing kids from what I have heard and seen. This was the funniest thing ever. Okay, so um, my friend texts me and then says, okay, so I was randomly scrolling through YouTube and then I just randomly found your uh, channel. She sends me a picture of my channel and just says, what's a giga chat? <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yeah, it was so no. funny because it was the thumbnail of a of Hypixel video. Okay, David, I think that two of my cousins are gay. One of them kind of dresses like a boy. So I am like, she's kind of like quiet and shy. So I don't like, I wouldn't be surprised if she was like, guys, I like girls. And the other one, he just talks gay. Like, I don't know how else to say it, but he just kind of <laughs> does. And I just want to make it clear if either of them came out as gay in the future, I would not be surprised. And I would also. Also, just not really care like do your thing you know just yep. don't try to kiss me because we're cousins honestly speeding is fun i'll be 100 honest it's like one of the no, best Renzo, feelings Renzo. <laughs> i mean i mean it's bad <laughs> unless you're being chased by like i don't know the cops an evil monster oh <laughs> no 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 the cops are pretty evil yeah they're not monsters well texted the uh <laughs> <laughs> Renzo. Renzo. It's every episode, man. It's, like the it's, every, time. it's every episode. Speaking about lifeguarding, um, yesterday I quit. Tuesday is officially my last day, and I honestly cannot be happier. Lazo kind of got mad at me though. Like the manager, he was totally okay. okay with it. I get it. We work there together, but also like I'm leaving the company, not you. So like, don't make it about you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Did you try to hit me again? Yeah. And if I'm being 100% honest, David, uh, that is the third time. So, I mean, yep. why not? Makes sense. David, we're not going to talk about white saviors. <laughs> Wait, David, I must be inside of you. Okay, yeah. See, now you have my I power, and that's why you just killed him. Quickly, quickly. Kill him. No. I can't. No. I'm too low. Oh, <laughs> I'm too low. Oh, oh. Just hide. Just hide. <laughs> Our father, it's fine. <laughs> what? No, David, just run. David, you can't take them. I can take them! <laughs> Anyways, that's it. That's it, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, subscribe to Ruby Creeper because he's super awesome. Follow him on Twitter uh, at underscore, I don't know, whatever. Creeper underscore Ruby. Ooh, a bomb!